breaking news. We're getting a better idea now of what happened when a police chase on 85 ended with a drowning death in Oconee County. This happened last night, Lake Hartwell near Fairplay. 7 News' Melanie Palmer standing by live to tell us the very latest details. Melanie. A high speed chase spanning multiple counties and two states ending in Lake Hartwell. This is where the story ends. I'm coming to you fast again. It starts though on the other side of Lake Hartwell in Franklin County, Georgia. It's going to be a uh, Dodge Charger. That's where deputies say they tried to pull 31 year old Akeem Lukey over on I 85 for what they clocked in as him going 125 miles per hour. <laughs> Deputies report he made it through counties and eventually over the South Carolina state line. Moments after the chase came to a screeching halt. Deputies say Lukey crashed into another car, the guardrail on the I-85 bridge over Lake Hartwell, and then jumped into the water. His body was located and then recovered around 2 a.m. and then we were called. That's where Oconee County's coroner Carl Addis comes into the timeline. He tells us deputies tried to throw a rope to Lukey when he first made the jump, but he still didn't make it. The search for answers into what unfolded is ongoing. Lukey's autopsy is scheduled for Wednesday. Now, Lukey's vehicle was registered to his wife in Greenwood, South Carolina. As for those people in that other vehicle that deputies say he crashed into, we're told that they were not injured. In Oconee County, Melanie Palmer, 7 News.